This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So uh, we got Birdman claims BG will be released from prison in a few weeks. Uh, BG's been in jail for such a long time for so many different things. Um, I'm just glad he's going to be getting out. Uh, it's He got a sentence that was way, 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 way too harsh. Um and it says uh, he was de- and he was denied compassionate release for like three times in the past couple of years. Uh, Birdman went out live, said BG's supposed to be released in prison in a few weeks. They've been saying this about him, but we'll see. Uh, a motion was uh, previously submitted and the motion was argued that the 2021 letter submit wasn't meant to be a legal motion. The letter was meant to express the rapper's displeasure with his attorney. Um, we'll see. Yeah, his current date from prison is two, April seventh, two thousand twenty-four. I don't know. This seems like a Max B situation, you know. Um, trust me, I remember his charges were not warranted to be in jail for like a decade. It was. It was definitely wasn't that. Um, but he was. He was awesome, man. BG was. B- BG wasn't appreciated enough when he was home, you know, but he's definitely a legend. Uh, then we got, let's go next. I think we got Kim Kardashian next. She talks about Balenciaga. Oh, no, this is Bobby Shimerda. We'll get to him in a second. Balenciaga, okay. She says, I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I, I haven't been shocked and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but I wanted the opportunity to speak to their team and understand for myself, how this could have happened. As a mother of four, I've been shaken by those disturbing in- images. The safety of children must be held with the highest regard. Anything against it should not have a place in our society, period. I appreciate Balenciaga's removing of the campaigns and apology and speaking with them. I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue. You know what? Kim Kardashian's no good. No good. Shouldn't support. Uh, they shouldn't support her for, after this. As for my future with Balenciaga, I'm currently reevaluating my relationship with the brand, uh, basing it off their willingness to accept their accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with. Th- there's no way this could have happened by accident. A photographer. Then it goes. When, when you do um, a shoot with a major corporation, it goes through legal. It goes through so many checks and balances. This was intentional. There's no way it cannot be intentional. And um, her sticking with the brand at all and not speaking up earlier says a lot. It's, it's, it's all about money. It's not about, you know, safety and morals and principles. Uh, it makes you not feel bad for her, what she's going through with Kanye, you know, honestly, you know. They're the same. They're the same. NBA young boy, uh puts out a message between him and Bobby Shmurda. Uh Bobby Shmurda tried to come and said, you a funny little guy, son. Call me, gangsta. I gave you the number. He, now, NBA boy said, I know, and uh, the way 10K ain't enough per song, I want 1 million. Just to be clear, my last song for DSP or whatever, uh, F, that is go get you a big B-O-M-B. I promise it won't hurt me. This was my last message. I don't want to talk to you. You a hot dude. <laughs> then uh, he said, blocked before you can even say another word. Just want you to win, crazy man. It's Bobby Shmurda. Everybody go follow, bro. Stop the violence. And then he said, nah, you... And then Bobby Shmurda said, nah, you the feds. How does it get out? I don't want to hear nothing else. Um, but uh, I'm sorry to all the gangsters for entertaining this. I apologize, please. I don't want no beef with nobody. But Bobby, a lot of people won't keep it real with Bobby because they've done interviews with Bobby and stuff, right? Bobby is a one-hit wonder. This is what he is. Now, we all can appreciate him keeping it real, Rowdy Rebel and all that stuff. That's great. But he's a one-hit wonder, okay? He's proven this. He's been home, no hits. Um, He had one hit back in like 2014, 15, then he had a, whenever you get a hit like that, you get a follow up. He got the follow up, follow up hit. He was very entertaining, still is very entertaining. Um, 
as far as like energy and stuff on social media but he's a one-hit wonder okay uh i believe he's making some money per month like he says i don't believe he's making four maybe maybe he made four million the first year because people were just giving him deals left and right because there was this hype that he was home the hype is done uh and he just needs to really focus on making another hit record and he, nobody cares <laughs> anymore i don't care how much jewelry you buy or anything it's not going to save your career you got to really get in the studio um he's capping on how how much money you know it's just if he's spending that much money a month he's really dumb because you should be saving your money uh this is jordan tower jt news peace